Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre, brings you Time Series Forecasting using Excel. Hi, I'm Dr Nick, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Excel for Seasonal Time Series Forecasting. For an introduction to Time Series, see the video Understanding Time Series Analysis. It explains trend and seasonality, which are concepts you will need to understand for this video. Time series data is collected over even periods of time for a single entity. In this case, the data is six years of monthly views on YouTube of the video Types of Data, Nominal, Ordinal, Interval Ratio. First, we will graph the data, examine it for seasonality, and use a seasonal model to forecast for the monthly views for 2020. We will look at the confidence intervals for the forecasts, and for comparison, we will try a linear model. Here is the data from the YouTube channel. Always graph the data first. The best graph to use is a scatter plot with straight lines and markers. On this graph, you can see an upward trend. There may be a seasonal pattern, though it is not clear. One way to see if there is seasonality is to graph each year as a separate line on the same graph. This graph shows the views for each month for the six different years. You can see that each year the number of monthly views increases. 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. There is a similar shape to the graph for each year. You can see that the peaks each year are in September or October. This suggests that there is a seasonal pattern. Can you think why there might be a peak each year in September or October? It seems likely to be related to the start of the school year in the Northern Hemisphere. People start statistics courses which have links to this video, or they search for and watch videos about types of data. The low points on the graphs for viewing numbers are in July and December, when people are on vacation, and are less likely to watch videos about statistics. Go figure! So, with this graph we have established that there is a seasonal pattern that occurs each year. As there are 12 months in the pattern, it is called seasonality of 12. We will now use Excel forecasting functions to forecast the views for each of the months in 2020. Before using the Excel forecasting functions, it is useful to name the ranges. I call the range of dates months, and I call the range of data views. Here are the forecasts for the months of 2020 based on the series ending in December 2019. Here is the graph showing the original data and the forecasts. I will now walk you through the formulas. The forecasts are in a separate column from the original data. This makes it clear which is the data and which is the forecast. It also makes it possible to graph the forecast separately from the data. To get the forecasts, I use the Excel function equals forecast.ets. The ETS stands for Exponential Triple Smoothing. Exponential Triple Smoothing is a popular model that takes into account trend and seasonality and gives more weight to recent values. The function needs a target date, which we have in cell A74, or which is January 2020. Values refers to the known data. We use the sequence of monthly view counts, which we gave the name range Views. The timeline is the dates, and that is the range named months. We can put 12 for the seasonality, but Excel will work that out if we do not. The last two entries are optional, and we do not need them for this data. This formula is copied down the forecast range. You can see that the only thing that changes in each row is the date for the forecast. Here are the forecasts for 2020 shown in orange on the graph. You can see that the forecasting model has extended the seasonal pattern. You can also see that the trend has continued upwards. The forecasting model has taken into account the trend and the seasonality shown in the data in order to make the forecasts. Remember that this kind of forecast is based solely on historic data. It assumes that the conditions in the future are similar to those in the immediate past. Look in the video description below to see the actual viewing figures for the months of 2020. You can see how well the forecast worked. All forecast values will have a margin of error. 
And the further into the future we go from the data, the bigger the margin of error will be. We can use Excel to calculate confidence intervals for the forecasts. We use the function equals forecast.ets.conf int. This gives the margin of error for a stated level of confidence. In this column, the formula equals forecast.ets.conf int A74 views months 0.95 is used to find the margin of error for a 95% confidence interval. We subtract the margin of error from the forecast to get the lower bound. We add the margin of error to the forecast to get the upper bound. You can see the confidence intervals shown on the graph. The intervals get wider the further into the future the forecast is. The 95% confidence interval for the forecast for December 2020 is 21,000 to 42,000. That means we can be 95% confident that the views in December 2020 will be between 21,000 and 42,000. This is a very wide interval because it is 12 months out from the last data. We should run the model each month as we get new viewing data and modify the forecasts. There are many different time series models with different strengths and limitations. In this example we have used a seasonal exponential smoothing model to forecast. We can compare it with forecasts from a linear model. We use the Excel function equals forecast.linear to predict the monthly views for 2020. For this forecast, the formula fitted a line over all the data using least squares and extrapolated out into the future. You can see the function here. The known y's are the viewing numbers and the known x's are the months. On the graph, we can see that the forecast values form a straight line because the model is not taking seasonality into account. For seasonal data, it is better to use a seasonal model for forecasting. This video demonstrated aspects of time series forecasting using Excel. If you would like some more or have questions, let me know in the comments. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who continue to help make these videos possible.